Hi everyone, I've been asked by a good friend of mine, Sarah Lawson, to talk a little bit about my background um, and my business and how I started it up. So here goes, um, I'm Nicola Forshaw, my company is called MindFit and we work with lots of different organisations, schools, universities to improve mental well-being and we do this by teaching mindfulness and meditation. I've been working for 28 years now, um, started off in accounts, then went into sales, business development, work with the likes of ESPM, UEFA, Premier League, football clubs, all very exciting, but didn't fill me up with um, like a real passion, a real joy. Um, so in 2010, I had a career change. I realised I'd been asking myself the wrong question all along. I'd been asking myself, how can I make money? Instead of asking myself, what is my passion? What makes me happy? How can I make a difference? Um, so I've been studying. I've always been fascinated in the mind and I've been studying like um, the mind for years was, was into meditation and I thought my new job needs to involve two things. Number one, I need to be passionate about it. I need to love it. And number two, it needs to help others. So uh, one day I had an epiphany. What is it that I love most? Well, I love meditation. It, it, that is what makes me happy. That is what turned my life around um, back in 2008. So I had that epiphany. Oh, I need I need to share this. I need to teach people um, mindfulness and meditation. And back then, uh, no one really knew what mindfulness was. And it was quite hard to bring it into the workplace. And no one had a clue what I was talking about. But as um, time's gone on, things have really changed Health and well-being is now a huge sector and it's, it's a growing sector um, and people are open um, to these type of teachings. So it's been amazing for me. I always remember my nan saying to me when I was a little girl, Nicola, find a job you love and you'll never work a day in your life. And that is the best advice I'd, I've ever been given. I wish I would have taken it years ago. Because when your work is your passion, you work on a completely different level. You have that energy, you have that passion, you have that enthusiasm, the drive, the motivation. And that's what gets you through um, the challenges, the difficult times. It helps you keep going. Um, and you get that sense of being fulfilled day in, day out. You, you're, you feel like you're on the right path. You love what you're doing and you're making a difference. You're helping others. So that would be my um, advice to young people, really. Ask yourself the question, what is my passion? What makes me happy? How can I make a difference? And how can I help others? Um, yeah, so... I know it's difficult at the moment in, in, in terms of jobs and opportunities, but 2021, the new year, will bring change. It'll bring new opportunities. So use this time wisely to increase your knowledge, to learn more about your sector, um, plan your career. What does it look like? What's your ideal job? But also you have to really dig deep and practice self-mastery. How can I improve myself? How can I be better? Know your flaws as well uh, and your negative traits and see if you can work on them a little. And that'll really set you up um, for when opportunities come your way maybe next year. You'll be ready for them. And even if you can't find opportunities and you are struggling to find um, a career or a pathway or a job, don't be disheartened. Have confidence to create your own opportunities. Start your own business uh, and you'll be amazed um, how it brings this new lease of life for you uh, and you'll develop and you'll 
you'll collaborate with others and if it's your true passion it will just work and you'll be fine so um, my advice would be to be brave to put yourself out there to trust in your own unique talents and abilities and to stay in the game I wish you well um, and hope to see you soon thank you so much take care bye